All right, there it is. Hi, uh, I realized I'm about to go into the gym, but I realized that I should probably introduce myself first. I feel like that'd be a little bit weird if I didn't. So my name is Ben. I live in Connecticut and I am a born again Christian. I think that that's the most important thing that you can know about me. I have uh, been in church pretty much my entire life. I go to an amazing church in New Milford, Connecticut called Faith Church. And I have just been blessed to sit under some really, really great men of God um, in my in my years of knowing the Lord. And uh, yeah, so you, you'll get to know me more, but my name is Ben. And the other thing that you should know about me is that I love to work out. Been working out um, for about four years, and so consistently for about four years. And so, my name's Ben. I love the Lord, and I love to work out. Let's go get a good workout. Okay. Well, hopefully you can hear me <coughs> and can see me pretty well. Not right now, but first exercise. When we're starting with. For delts, where am I? There I am. Is Smith Machine shoulder press. Try to blast the front delts. Okay. It's a little warm up. I won't get to it. Make sure, make sure the arms are even. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Plan. Forgive my voice. It gets pretty hoarse when I work out, but <coughs> plan is. Three working sets to failure with a drop on the third set, which is what you're going to see. Third working set. Oh, I should probably show you the weight. I don't want to. Um, there's two 25s and a 10 on each side. And so I'm going to do this set to failure. I got or pretty close to failure. I got 14 on the first set, 13 on the second set. <clears throat> and then we're gonna take a 25 off each side and do it all again. Here we go. Okay, <clears throat> that's close enough. <sighs> Okay, that's failure. Oh, ow, okay. Okay, <clears throat> I made an executive decision. Today, 
I'm just going to show you the delts portion of the workout. I'm going to do delt. I'm doing delts first, and then I'm going to do legs. But we're just going to do a delts part for a couple reasons, but maybe mainly because of time. I'm not trying to be here for forever, uh, and my voice is already starting to go. But that's going to be fixed soon, in Jesus' name. Um, but okay. <clears throat> lateral raises for the lateral delts. That just makes sense, doesn't it? This is one of my favorite machines for lateral delts. It's the partials. I really, I really toast ya like bread. Okay, so spin the machine, shoulder press done. We're gonna do same three working sets here. I got 80 pounds on right now, which feels pretty good. We'll stay there. Three sets here. We have a drop on the third set, um, and then we'll do. Reverse back deck, which is right there for rear delts, and then probably a superset. No, I don't know what it'll be yet, but it'll be fun. That's the plan. I'll show you the third set here. Third set right now, last set for here. Can you see me? Okay, hope so. Here we go. I'm gonna drop after this. Okay. We're off. Oh, don't forget the partials. Ooh. Oh, okay. One drop, two fifty. Try this more. Sorry, was that loud? I hope not. Okay. So far, so good. So good. Gosh. Are you crooked down there? Hope not. I'm gonna have to fix that. That's a good set. There's nothing better than when you physically like can't lift your arms anymore. Okay, let's do reverse pec deck for rear delts. What do you say? Currently <coughs> I am uh, bulking, growing, whatever you want to call it. Trying to get a little bit bigger, trying to put on some more size, some more strength. Um, I, I power lifted for a while in high school and in my first couple years of college. <coughs> Squatted 425 is my all time PR. I can show you that here. And I um, have benched 270, but I'm not going to show you that because it was in like a basement gym and I don't totally count it. And my bench has never been strong. Um, and then my all-time deadlift, 475, I believe. And I'll show you that now, but I'm warning you. I was a lot chubbier and I had long hair, but here you go. Uh, so there you go, hope you enjoyed that. 
Um, but so now I'm trying to just grow um, and get a little bigger. I definitely, I've done powerlifting. I've done more bodybuilding style. And I definitely like bodybuilding style more. So, all right. I'll show you my second set here. And then I won't show you my third and we'll just get on to the next one. Here we go. That'll do. All right. See you the next one. All right. So it didn't take too long. This was the first mistake of the YouTube channel. Thought I was recording and it ended up being a time lapse. But this was the last superset that uh, I did uh, for delts. And it was a nice Viking machine press followed by dumbbell lateral raises to failure. And uh, that finished it off. There we are. All right. Hey, what's up? Um, you just saw me work out. Uh, I'm recording this before I'm working out so that my voice doesn't get even worse. But you just saw me work out. What? Legs and delts today. A little more bodybuilding style. So I hope it was a good workout. Uh, yeah. But now we're just going to get into the teaching part. And... I'm so excited for this. I really am so excited for this. Not because it's something that naturally I would be so excited for, but just because I know that this is what the Lord has asked me to do. And I'm really excited to see what he's going to do with it. And so we've entitled, you know, this first one, the pilot, right? But also uh, setting the stage. <clears throat> and that's because we're just setting the stage for what for for what God's going to do with this, with this YouTube channel, with this whole thing, and I'm really excited for it. And so so let's get into this first little teaching part, but but this is more just again setting the stage um for what this whole thing is going to be about. So why is this YouTube channel called 48 strong? Why is it called 48 strong? This is a name that the Lord gave me and it comes from two scriptures that the Lord really put on my heart for this. And they're both a four, eight it's first Timothy four, eight and James four, eight. And they're two of my favorite scriptures in all the Bible. And, uh, the first one is first Timothy four, eight. And it says the Bible says, and I have my Bible here. I'm reading off my laptop, but, but I have the Bible here because this is the most important thing. This is the essential, but first Timothy four, eight, it says, for while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. <clears throat> and um, obviously, like you just you just watch me work out, right? And this whole thing is 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 a big part of it is about working out and being healthy and fitness. And I love this scripture because it says that bodily training is of some value. You know, these bodies are ours and, and God gave them to us to take care of. And the Bible says right there that, that bodily training is of value. But the more important part is what we're doing right now. The more important part is godliness. Bo uh, bodily training is of, of some value, but godliness is of value in every way because it holds the promise for this life that we're in now and also for the pre or for the for the life to come that we will have in eternity. And so I love working out. I've loved I've loved working out like consistently probably for about 4 years now. It's something that that I have a passion for and brings me a lot of joy. Um but this right here and, and godliness and my relationship with the Lord, your relationship with the Lord is so much more important and so much more influential than <clears throat> any workout that you can ever put your body through. So that's the first scripture, um, the first four, eight. And, uh, the second one is my favorite scripture in all the Bible. It's James four, eight. And it says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. 
Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. James 4, 8. That is my favorite scripture in all the Bible because it's just so simple. It's so simple in concept that if we draw near to God, then he will draw near to us. And one thing that I love so much about this scripture is that I love so much about this scripture. One thing that I love is that there's no constraint on it. You know, it's not saying if you draw near to God for part of your day, then God will draw near to you for, for that part of your day. It's not, there's no like, if you only, it, God can only do it so much. Like they, that's not part of it. It's whenever you draw near to God, God will draw near to you. And I love that because it puts the emphasis on us to initially draw near to God, but then it doesn't leave us there to do everything because when we, when we take that step to draw near to God, which is something that you're doing right now, it's something that you're doing right now is taking that initial step, just listening to this, to draw near to God, then the, the most important part is that he draws near to you. And so it's not just you moving from point A, wherever you are, to point B, God. It's you starting to move and then God starting to move and then you meet in the middle and then it's just just so great. And so James 4, 8, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. And, and another thing that I love so much about this scripture is that it's not dependent upon your current relationship with the Lord. Maybe you've been in church for a long, long time. You've known the Lord for a long, long time. If you draw near to God, he'll draw near to you. But maybe you have no relationship with God. Maybe this is, this is all sounding super weird and super foreign, and you have no idea what this is all about, but you're a little interested if you, if you like kind of lean into it and draw near to God, he'll draw near to you too. It doesn't matter where you currently are in your life and in your relationship with God. The promise is that if you draw near to him, he'll draw near to you. And so I love that so much. And so those two scriptures, James 4, 8 and 1 Timothy 4, 8 are the reason why this YouTube channel is called 48 Strong. 4, 8, 48. Get it? Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> so, so that's that, that's kind of the vision. That's the, the title and, and the vision that God placed on my heart for this, uh, YouTube channel. But real quickly, I just want to go over what I believe, because again, maybe this is all sounding pretty weird and, and, you know, you've heard of Christianity, you've heard of the Bible and, and God and, and, you know, all this kind of stuff before, but maybe you're like, you know, what, like, what do you really believe as a Christian? And <clears throat> it can be a really long-winded answer, but ultimately, like, you can boil it down, and ultimately, I will boil it down to, I believe the Bible. I believe the Bible. I believe that the Bible is the written word of God, and that it was inspired by God. Every word in here, I believe it was inspired by God, and and written by men through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. I believe that the Bible is without error and that the Bible is absolute truth and is the ultimate guide for living this life in a way that honors God. That's what I believe. I believe the Bible. I believe everything that this book says. I believe that it is truth. It is the truth. And it is it is like our instruction manual, if you will, for how to live this life in a way that honors God. I believe this book. I believe every word in it. And <clears throat> one of the, one of, no, not one of the most important doctrine, teaching, principles in this book is that Jesus Christ is the son of God and he is God. And he came down to this earth and took the form of a human and lived a perfect life, lived a sinless life, and then died a painful and shameful death on a cross so that we could have eternal life with God in heaven. <clears throat> and again, maybe all that sounds really foreign to you and you don't really understand it, um, but we're going to get into it and we're going we're gonna to go through it and really 
really like learn about the Bible, learn about Jesus, learn about who he is and, and what he's like. But for everybody, Jesus came to save humanity from sin, which is basically us missing the mark and not being able to spend eternity with God. That's what sin does to us. But Jesus came and did everything that he did so that we could spend eternity with him. And, um, and that is the most important, the most important part of this book. And it's for everybody. And so if you've never done that, if you've never given your life to Jesus, the Bible says that it's really simple and I would love to walk you through it. Um, if you, if you left a comment on, on this, on this video, I would love to talk to you about that. But <clears throat> what do I believe as a Christian, as a follower of Christ, as a follower of Christ, what do I believe? I believe this book and we're going to get into it. And so I want to just uh, tell you what, what this part of the YouTube channel is going to look like, right? Obviously the first part is going to be me working out. And I hope that, hope that you learned something there. I hope that it's enjoyable and that it's kind of fun to watch. Um, but I hope that you learned something there, but this is the most important part. And this is the part that I really hope that you take away from. And what is this part going to look like? We're going to get more into the Bible and what it says and what it teaches and my plan and the instruction that the Lord gave me for this part is that we're going to treat it kind of like a Bible study. We're going to treat it kind of like a Bible study book club type of deal where we're going to take books that have been written by great men and women of God and we're going to dive into them and we're going to learn from them. Um, books about faith, books about healing, books about prosperity, books about, um, you know, sin and, and the world and, and, and whatever, like the Lord, uh, leads me to, to, you know, talk about, we're going to get a book and, and dive into it. And it's going to be great because one of the ways that it, one of the best ways to learn is to learn from other people who are older, who have more wisdom, who have more maturity, who have more experience. And so I'm really, really excited for that. I really, I know that, that, that instruction that was from the Lord and I'm so excited to get into that. So that's kind of it. Um, <clears throat> excuse my voice. So sorry. Um, but that's kind of it for this pilot, for this setting the stage. I hope that you guys again, enjoyed the workout and I hope that you really enjoyed this part. I'd encourage you if this kind of piqued your curiosity a little bit, don't completely shut it off and don't completely shut it out because God is real and he loves you and he has a plan for your life and he wants to know you. And so again, I hope that this was, um, something that blessed you and I hope that it's something that you'll come back to. So see you next week.